Coming up in today's video, it's not the biggest bag in the world, but it is an epic roo shooting pigeon session in the woods with the keeper. Oh my god! <laughs> How high was that? Try and make, I've got to make a video. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In tonight's episode I follow the keeper into the woods on a night's roo shooting. It's the second weekend in February and it's extremely cold. Now I was asked to bring my gun along but tonight I didn't want to. I wanted to sit back watch and just do the filming uh, because I believe it makes for a better film. Plus Steve can shoot pretty well but don't let him know I told you that. Coming round up here on your left ear. What do you mean coming down? Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. It was pretty windy which was ideal pigeon shooting conditions as the gamekeeper gets quite excitable at times. We do love the ability of the shot cam to be able to slow that footage down so you can see exactly where you're patterning. As you can see, some of the pigeons stayed really high above the trees, although that didn't deter Steve. When he wanted to, he could really bring them down from a good height. What a shot. I didn't see that one, it landed about a foot away from me. The shot cam slow mo makes him sound like Chewbacca, don't you think? A nice lick of flame there coming out of the Beretta. I'm sure that was keeping his fingers nice and warm. Speaking of nice and warm. Just to interrupt this film, top tip for you, if you're stood still roo shooting and there's snow or ice on the ground, or if you're hide shooting and your feet get cold, get yourself some of these. These are hot hands foot warmers. They attach to your sock and they will supply warmth to your cold feet for up to eight hours. You can get these in the Team Fox at Amazon shop. I think they're four quid for a pack of five. That's less than a quid ago. Toasty. Meanwhile, back in the chilly, windy woods, all of that early action has meant the gamekeepers worked up a bit of a sweat and he had to keep changing his hat. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a shot. Coming around, I think. Timber! Yep, I know, phenomenal camera work from me. I couldn't even see where that pigeon landed. So, Steve, being the kind of guy that he is, thought he'd make it a little bit easier for me, and not so easy for the pigeons, to take one out of the tree so I could capture it on film. He's such a generous guy like that. And I'm sure many of you will say it's not sporting, but it is pest control at the end of the day. To your right a bit, to your right a bit. Oh, cracker! 
that one sporting enough for you. Another one landing very close and nearly taking out my GoPro in the process. We've been playing it, haven't they? Yeah. I think they have. Every time they try and sit down, they get shot at. Hey, we're coming in a treat, hey, we? What gun is it? Hey? What gun is it? It's a Beretta 303 multi choke sporter. It's 42 years old. Is it? Yeah. That's older than me. Yeah. Bought it when I was 17 and it was 400 quid. Exactly. Christ. That's probably about two grand in today's money. Yeah, that's how much it was. <laughs> Four of us bought. Hope you got a deal. <coughs> oh, bless me. It's not COVID. I already had that. Bloody hell, Stephen. That's unreal. You ought to get yourself on the clay circuit. Hey? I said you want to get yourself on the clay circuit. On the, on the clay circuit. No. And into the place to get your ears tested. The wind's picked up a bit more, I think. Hey. The wind's picked up a bit more. Oh my god! <laughs> How high was that? About that, how high was that? That was well above the trees. I'm sure he's got it in for me and my equipment, you know. I can't feel my hands hardly, but my feet and toes are lovely and warm. These feet warmers are an absolute godsend. Although it's cold, it has been a pleasure to watch this man shoot tonight. He has had some absolute screamers. Just hope that we've managed to get some on film for you. But so far we've got 23 on the clicker. Keep up the great work.
with the light starting to fade nice and gently and the ever increasing wind it's time to start thinking about calling it a day however there's always time for a couple more just before we pick up and again it's not been the biggest bag in the world but it's been a cracker oh you know Stephen <laughs> that was a beauty I'm gonna grab that one Nice one. I've got that on Phil. Yeah. It's always good to get that extra bonus Corvid in with the mix. Myself and Steve have time to pick up as many of the pigeons as we can before we lose that last little bit of light. I think we ended up picking up 21 or so. Steve's going to come back tomorrow with the dogs to pick up the remainder. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. You can get in contact with me with the email on screen and follow the instant action on Instagram with team underscore foxer.